Alright. I'm organizing my speed dial. It's pretty much the most used thing if you use Google Chrome at all. And they got it for all the other browsers too, I think. Versions of it at least. But look how nice this looks. Pops up every time I open up a new tab. Click on whatever link I want. You can set icons, little logos. It's easy to just swap them around wherever you want. If you want to add a new page, let's see, I want to add. Go to my iGoogle. I want to add something from Google. Google has good stuff I use all the time. It's easy enough just to use this little app for my iGoogle, but I'm going to set it up so it's on my main, main screen. Do that for the most important ones. Google Docs, that's a good one. And if you don't know this, Google has its own word processing program, basically on the internet for free so if you don't have Microsoft Word don't worry about it because this is it and it saves it all on the internet so you don't gotta worry about like your hard drive going bad and losing all your documents no it's saved online alright now to add it to the speed dial just click this little icon here it'll always be there add current page Here it is, Google Docs. Now, that's kind of hard to tell that that's Google Docs just from the little preview of what the website looks like. So, I've been adding all these lately. Just go to Edit Dial. You can search the predefined one, see if it's already in there. Let's see. I doubt it. Even though Google made this, they didn't put many of their own logos in there for some reason. But, no matter. opening too many tabs but just go to Google they got it if you search for it so search for it especially in images and I'm just gonna search Google Docs logo look there's a ton of them look for the prettiest one that one's a little blurry. We found a winner. Alrighty. Go up here. I'm gonna get the full size image. It's usually better quality. Copy image URL. Go back to your speed dial. Go back to edit dial. Dial image URL. Paste that up in there. Oh wait, I forgot. Don't try to use control V like I always do or I have a macro for it on my mouse for copy and paste but Apparently, Control V does some weird stuff while you're in there. But get back to your speed dial. Edit dial. Right click. Paste. Save. There we go. Perfect. And in the options, you got a variety of options. We can change the number of rows and stuff. I'm not going to do that because it switches my order up of my icons. I don't feel like reorganizing them. The distance they are from you. I can switch this up a little bit probably. Let's see. And then of course my R2D2 background. Set that in there. Change the background color which doesn't matter. if you have a background chosen already. I guess it looks like it affects the text color. 
so it's visible and whatever. I don't know. You can read all these options yourself. Save and close. And there's a little nifty Google search right here, actually. I should use it more often. I tend to always click this. But this is actually a lot quicker because this, look how quick these pages load compared to especially the iGoogle. iGoogle takes a while. Like I'm waiting now for that search bar. I could already had it. You can add them directly from the page too by just typing in the URL if you want. And it's got a little bookmarks thing, which is really unnecessary because I have one of the same exact one right here. The recently closed thing comes in handy a lot. Just if you just forgot to bookmark a site or something, forgot how you got to it. You can just look in here, it's probably in there. If not, you can get a bigger list, but that's pretty handy. In case you were wondering where I got this speed dial, well, that's another one I need to add. Let's do it up. Google. I'm just going to search extensions. I guess I spelt it wrong. Wouldn't have mattered anyway, it popped up either way. Google Chrome extensions. Now to search speed dial. Or browse the hundreds of other ones you can get. They're all really fucking awesome. There it is. Just click install.